हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेटर सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज 7.4 पॉइंट फोर एग्जाम्पल्स क्वेश्चन वन राइट शेडेड पोर्शन एज फ्रैक्शन ऑरेंज डैम इन असेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर यूजिंग करेक्ट साइन लेस देन इक्वल्स टू ग्रेटर देन बिटवीन द फ्रैक्शन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स हियर ए बी सी फिगर्स एंड फ्रैक्शन आर गिवन वी हैव टू राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रैक्शन and then we have to arrange them in ascending order ascending order means smallest to greatest and descending order means greatest to smallest a let us write first of all fractions from the figure how many total blocks are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we will write 8 and 3 are shaded so 3 upon 8 here also everywhere total 8 8 blocks are there 8 8 portions are there how many are shaded 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 are shaded so 6 upon 8 here 1 2 3 4 so 4 upon 8 and here one part is shaded so 1 upon 8 now let us write fraction for number b in number b how many total blocks are there 1 2 3 1 2 3 is there and how many total rows are there 1 2 and 3 so 3 3s are 9 so here we will write 9 and here from the first box you can observe student that total 9 boxes are there from that one is unshaded part so 9 minus 1 if we do then it is 8 8 upon 9 here also total 9 bo boxes are there and 1 2 3 4 4 upon 9 4 upon 9 are shaded now we are 1 2 3 3 upon 9 here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 upon 9 now each fractions of a b we will arrange in ascending order and descending order here in this question it is said c1 2 upon 6 4 upon 6 8 upon 6 and 6 upon 6 show on the number line we have to show these fractions on the number line put appropriate sign between the fractions given so here fractions are given we have to put appropriate sign so what are the fractions 5 upon 6 box 2 upon 6 3 upon 6 box 0 1 upon 6 box 6 upon 6 8 upon 6 box 5 upon 6 now students first of all we will find solutions of a then b and then c solution students first of all for figure a let us write the fractions which we have got 1 3 upon 8 then 6 upon 8 4 upon 8 and 1 upon 8 so here all denominators are same first we will arrange this in ascending order ascending order means from smallest to largest so here which numerator is smallest one up one so one upon 8 then 3 upon 8 then 4 upon 8 and then 6 upon 8 which sign will come less than sign will come so one upon 8 less than 3 upon 8 less than 4 upon 8 less than 6 upon 8 now we have to arrange for descending order so let us arrange for descending order students descending order means greatest to smallest so here 6 upon 8 greater than 4 upon 8 greater than 3 upon 8 greater than 1 upon 8 now for number b let us write fractions first for number b 8 upon 9 then 4 upon 9 3 upon 9 then 6 upon 9 now we have to arrange this also in ascending order so ascending order let us arrange in ascending order so in ascending order smallest to largest which is numerator smallest 3 3 upon 9 then 4 upon 9 so we will write 3 upon 9 less than 4 upon 9 less than 6 upon 9 less than 8 upon 9 now we will arrange in descending order so descending order if we will write 
then greatest to smallest so which numerator is greatest 8 so here we will write 8 upon 9 greater than 6 upon 9 greater than 4 upon 9 greater than 3 upon 9 students question number c question number c 2 upon 6 4 upon 6 8 upon 6 and 6 upon 6 now students here first of all which are the proper fraction 2 upon 6 4 upon 6 and 6 upon 6 Eight upon six is improper fraction. And how many units we will make? We will make six units because denominators are same. So here zero to one, then one upon six, two upon six, three upon six, four upon six, five upon six, six upon six equals to one. Seven upon six, eight upon six, nine upon six, ten upon six, eleven upon six, and twelve upon six equals to two. Now, students, we have to give answers to the given question. First of all, here is our two upon six. Let us give as name A, four upon six B, eight upon six as C, and here six upon six is there. That is as D. Now we have to give answers to the given question. First one is given that five upon six is dash two upon six. As denominators are same, so numerator five is greater than numerator two, so answer is greater than. Second one is three upon six dash zero. Now students here also you can see that zero upon six if we do then answer is zero. So here in denominator it is six only. If we do zero upon six answer is zero. So here also denominators are same, six and six. So three is greater than zero, so answer is greater than. Then after here one upon six dash six upon six. Now six upon six is one, and one upon six is in fraction, so it is less than. Then after eight upon six dash five upon six. Denominator are Same. So your numerator eight is greater than five. Hence, eight upon six is greater than five upon six. Question number two. Compare the fractions and put an appropriate sign. So we have to do comparing the fractions. So let us solve answers to the given question. Number A. Three upon six dash five upon six. So students, these are like fraction or unlike fractions. Like fractions means denominator are same. So solution. These are like fractions. So what we will do if the like fractions are there? How we will compare the fractions with smaller numerator is smaller fraction. So therefore, students here, which is the smaller numerator? Three upon six. So therefore, students here, three upon six is less than five upon six. Now question number B. One upon seven dash one upon four. Here the fractions are not having denominator same, but you can observe that their numerator are same. So solution: these fractions have the same numerators. The fractions having the greater denominator is the smaller fractions. When if they are having same numerator, then The fractions having the greater denominator is the smaller fractions. So from these two, which is the greater one? Seven. Hence, we will write one upon seven less than one upon four. Question number C. Four upon five dash five upon five. Here, students, again these are like fractions because denominators are same. Therefore, these are like fractions. The fractions with smaller numerator is the smaller fractions. So, students, here which is the smaller numerator? Four. Therefore, four upon five is less than five upon five. Question number D. Three upon five dash three upon seven. Now, these fractions doesn't have denominator same, but the numerators are same. So therefore, solution: these fractions have the same numerators. So.
so the fractions having the smaller denominator is the greater fraction so from which from this which is the smaller 5 is smaller therefore 3 upon 5 is greater than 3 upon 7 question number 3 make 5 more such pairs and put question number 3 make 5 more such pairs and put appropriate sign so we have to put appropriate sign less than greater than equals to by like earlier question 5 more pairs of fractions 1 3 upon 10 box dash 3 upon 40 now here denominators uh, are different numerators are same so with the smaller denominator it is greater hence 3 upon 10 is greater than 3 upon 40 6 upon 7 6 upon 8 again numerators are same so with the smaller denominator answer is greater than so 6 upon 7 is greater than 6 upon 8 5 upon 10 8 upon 10 denominators are same they are like fractions hence lesser numerator is less than so 5 upon 10 less than 8 upon 10 now 15 upon 19 dash 17 upon 19 like fractions numerator is 15 is less than 17 so 15 upon 19 is less than 17 upon 19 5 12 upon 17 12 upon 21 now students here numerators are same so with the lesser denominator answer will be greater so 12 upon 17 question number 4 look at the figures and write less than or greater than equals to between the given pairs of fractions so here this is the fraction strips given and in these fraction strips we have to write less than or greater than so first one is question given is 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 3 so from the figure you can observe where is 1 upon 6 this is 1 upon 6 where is 1 upon 3 this is 1 upon 3 so students 1 upon 6 is less than 1 upon 3 why less than because 1 upon 6 is left side of all of 1 upon 3 number b is given 3 upon 4 and 2 upon 6 so students where is 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 this is 3 upon 4 and where is 2 upon 6 this is 2 upon 6 so 3 upon 4 is which side right side of 2 upon 6 and 3 upon 4 is greater than 2 upon 6 see question number c it is asked 2 upon 3 and 2 upon 4 so 2 upon 3 is here 2 upon 4 is here so what is 2 upon 3 is Greater than or less than? It is greater than because it is right side. So here we will write 2 upon 3 greater than 2 upon 4. Number D. 6 upon 6 and 3 upon 3. 6 upon 6 is here and 3 upon 3 is here. Both are equal because both are at same point. So here we will write 6 upon 6 equals to 3 upon 3. Number E. 5 upon 6 dash 5 upon 5. So 5 upon 6, this is our 5 upon 6, this is our 5 upon 5. So 5 upon 6 is less than because it is left side. So here we will write 5 upon 6 less than 5 upon 5. And it is also asked to make 5 more such problems and solve them with your friends. Let us write solution for this. So first one 1 upon 6 dash 1 upon 3 answer is less than 5. Because 1 upon 6 lies to the left of 1 upon 3. Then 3 upon 4 dash 2 upon 6. Answer is greater than because 3 upon 4 lies to the right of 2 upon 6. Then 2 upon 3 dash 2 upon 4 answer is greater than why because 2 upon 3 lies to the right of 2 upon 4 then 
six upon six dash three upon three answer is equals to because they are represented both the fractions they are represented by the same point by the same point then 5 upon 6 dash 5 upon 5 so answer is less than why because 5 upon 6 lies to the left of 5 upon 5 now here also in this question it is asked five more such pairs we have to make so five more such pairs one upon two dash one upon three is greater than here we can use this method also numerators are saying smaller denominator is greater than number two four upon four dash five upon five equals to four upon six dash three upon three upon three is less than because it lies to the left of three upon three 2 upon 2 dash 3 upon 3 is equals to 2 upon 5 dash 5 upon 6 is less than because it lies to the left of 5 upon 6. Question number 5. How quickly can you do this? Fill appropriate sign less than equals to greater than. A. 1 upon 2 dash 1 upon 5. Now students here we will use cross multiplication method. So if we do 1 upon 2, 1 upon 5, cross, 5 ones are 5, 2 ones are 2, so 5 is greater than 2, therefore 1 upon 2 is, therefore, 1 upon 2 is greater than 1 upon 5. Now number B, 2 upon 4 dash 3 upon 6, so here also we will do 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, then cross, so students, 2 6 are 12, 4 3 are 12. So here which sign will come equals to because both cross products answers are same. So here equals to sign. Then number C, 3 upon 5 dash 2 upon 3. 3 upon 5, 2 upon 3, cross we will do. 3 3 are 9, 5 2 are 10, 9 is less than 10. Hence 3 upon 5 is less than 2 upon 3. Now number D. 3 upon 4 dash 2 upon 8. So 3 upon 4, 2 upon 8. Cross we will do 8 3 is 24. 4 8 is sorry 4 2 is 8. So 24 is greater than 8. So here 3 upon 4 is greater than 2 upon 8. Now number E. 3 upon 5 dash 6 upon 5. So 3 upon 5, 6 upon 5. Here cross. 3 5s are 15, 6 5s are 30. 15 is less than 30. Therefore 3 upon 5 is less than 6 upon 5. Now number F. 7 upon 9 dash 3 upon 9. So here we will do 7 upon 9, 3 upon 9. Cross. 7, 7 9s are 63 and 3 nines are 27. So this is greater. Therefore 7 upon 9 is greater than 3 upon 9. And these are like fractions. Now number G. 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 8. So here 1 upon 4, 2 upon 8. Cross we will do 1 8 is 8, 4 2 is 8 equals to. So your sign is equals to 6 upon 10 4 upon 5 cross we will do 6 5s are 30 10 4s are 40 30 is less than 40 so here 6 upon 10 is less than 4 upon 5 now 3 upon 4 7 upon 8 so 3 upon 4 7 upon 8 cross we will do 3 8s are 24 7 4 is 28. 24 is less than 28. So 3 upon 4 is less than 7 upon 8. Now next is 6 upon 10 4 dash 4 upon 5. So 6 upon 10 we will write. 4 upon 5 we will write. Cross we will do 6 5 is 30. 10 5 is 40. 30 is less than 40. So 6 upon 10 is less than 4 upon 5. 
नंबर के फाइव अपॉइंट सेवन डैश फिफ्टीन अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन सो फाइव अपॉइंट सेवन फिफ्टीन अपॉन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन फाइव जार इज हंड्रेड एंड फाइव फिफ्टीन सेवन जार इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड एंड फाइव सो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू सो यर वी विल राइट इक्वल्स टू साइन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स द फॉलोइंग फ्रैक्शन रिप्रेजेंट जस्ट थ्री डिफरेंट नंबर सेपरेट दैन इन टू थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ इक्वल एंड फ्रैक्शन बाय चेंजिंग ईच वन ऑफ इट्स सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म सो हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फ्रैक्शन वी हैव टू चेंज इन टू सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म एंड दैन वी हैव टू मेक मेक थ्री डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स सो ए टू अपॉइंट ट्वेल्व फर्स्ट एंटायर क्वेश्चन फ्रैक्शन वी विल चेंज इन टू सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म 2 upon 12 means we will divide it by 2 upon 2 so answer is 1 upon 6 now b 3 upon 15 so we will divide it by 3 upon 3 we can use simplest form method for the finding the answers of simplest form you can find 3 upon 15 so 3 3 is a 3 ones are 3 And three fives, one upon five. Eight upon fifty is there. So eight upon fifty, if we want to divide, then by which number if we divide, we will divide. We will divide by two because two is the at safe. So two four zero and two twenty five. So answer is four upon twenty five. So as this is bigger number, we'll take at safe. At safe of sixteen and hundred is four upon four. So four four zero and four twenty five zero. Answer is four upon twenty-five. Now, ten upon sixty. Ten upon sixty. If we want to divide, so we have to find the HCF. So HCF is ten. Ten upon ten. Ten ones are and ten six. The answer is one upon six. Fifteen also. We will divide by which number? Fifteen. We can divide. Fifteen upon fifteen upon seventy-five. We can divide by fifteen upon. Fifteen and that is fifteen ones are and fifteen fives are. Question number G, twelve upon sixty. We will divide by twelve upon twelve. Twelve ones are twelve fives are. Question number H, sixteen upon ninety six. Sixteen upon ninety six. We will divide by again okay, sixteen and sixteen. Sixteen ones are and sixteen six are. Then I. Twelve upon seventy-five. Twelve upon seventy-five. We will divide by. We will twelve upon seventy-five. We will divide by three upon three. Three four zero and three twenty-five zero. Now twelve upon seventy-two. Twelve upon seventy-two. We will divide by twelve upon twelve. Twelve one zero and twelve six zero. Three upon eighteen, we will divide by three upon three. Three one zar and three six zar. Four upon twenty five is no, not able to divide. We will not. Four upon twenty five will remain four upon twenty five only because there is no simplest form. Now, students, we have to make three three groups of the equivalent fractions from these answers. So, first one, three groups of equivalent fractions are. Two upon twelve, that is equals to ten upon sixty. Equals to sixteen upon ninety-six, that is equals to twelve upon seventy-two. Equals to three upon eighteen. You can see, students, each one will get one upon six, one upon six. The value of each fraction is what? One upon six. Now, number two. Now, let us write for the number two, second group. Three upon fifteen equals to. Fifteen upon seventy-five equals to twelve upon sixty. Now here each one will get one upon five, one upon five. The value of each fraction is one upon five. Question number three: eight upon fifty equals to sixteen upon hundred equals to twelve upon seventy-five equals to four upon twenty-five. So here the each fraction will get four upon twenty-five, four upon twenty-five. Therefore, the value of each fraction is four upon twenty-five. Question number seven: Find the answer to the following. Write and indicate how you solve them. So here we have to find the answers of the following. Question number A: Is five upon nine equal to four upon five? Let us show this with the cross product method. So we will find finding the 
cross products of so let us find the cross products of this method we are using for comparing always cross products as the denominators are different so 5 fives are 25 4 nines are 36 so they are not equal because 25 is not equals to 36 therefore 5 upon 9 is not equals to 4 upon 5 their cross product answers are not equal number b is 9 upon 16 equal to 5 upon 9 so finding the cross product so here we will write finding the cross products we are finding cross products 9 upon 16 and 5 upon 9 cross products if we do 9 9 is 81 and 16 5 is 80 so 81 is not equals to 80 therefore 9 upon 16 is not equals to 5 upon 9 question number c is 4 upon 5 equals to 16 upon 20 so here also we will write finding the cross products we will find cross products now 4 upon 5 16 upon 20 cross we will do 24 is 80 and 16 5 is also 80 both the cross product answer we are getting 80 80 so here we will write therefore 4 upon 5 is equals to 16 upon 20 number d is 1 upon 15 equals to 4 upon 30 so finding the cross products what we will find we will find the cross products 1 upon 15 4 upon 30 30 ones are 30 and 15 fours are 60 so here 30 is not equals to 60 therefore 1 upon 15 is not equals to 4 upon 30 question number 8 Ila read 25 pages of book containing 100 pages. Lalita read 2 upon 5 of the same book. Who read less? So here we have to find who has read less. So first one is Ila read 25 pages out of 100 pages. Therefore Ila read 25 upon 100 of the book. Now so 25 upon 100 Ila has read. Therefore 25 upon 100 we will do in the simplest form. That is equals to 25 upon 100. We will divide it by 25. 25 are. You can find that same also. 25 ones are and 25 fours are. So Ila read 1 upon 4 of the book and Lalita read. Now we have to find for the Lalita. Lalita is given only in the question. That is in the fraction lowest term only 2 upon 5. So we will write Lalita read 2 upon 5 of the book. So, Ila read 1 upon 4 of the book and Lalita read 2 upon 5 of the book. Now, we will compare 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 5 by the cross product if we compare it. So, we will write 1 upon 4, 2 upon 5. Cross product we will do 5 ones are and 4 twos are 8. So, 5 is less than 8. Hence, this means Ila read less pages. So, let us write answer. Why Ila read less pages? Because 1 upon 4 is less than 2 upon 5. So, this means Ila read less pages of the book. She read less pages of the book. Question number 9. Rafik exercised for 3 upon 6 of an hour. While Rohit exercise for 3 upon 4 of an hour, who exercise for a longer time? So we have to find who has exercise for the longer time. Solution. Rafiq exercise for 3 upon 6 of an hour and Rohit exercise for 3 upon 4 of an hour. So we have to compare 3 upon 6 and 3 upon 4. So if we compare 3 upon 6 and 3 upon 4, here we can use the numerator here the numerators are same so bigger the value is lesser so therefore 3 upon 6 is less than 3 upon 4 so here yeah, this means 3 upon 6 is for what traffic so we will write this means Rohit has exercised longer time 
why we it is asked in the question that who has exercised longer time so we will write for the longer time answer that is 3 upon 4 which is for rohit so this means rohit exercised for a longer time who exercised for a longer time rohit question number 10 in class a of 25 students 20 passed with 60 percent or more marks in another class b of 30 students 24 passed with 60 percent or more marks in which class who has a greater fraction of students getting 60 percent or more marks so class a 25 students class b 30 students are there 20 passed with 60 percent or more and in class b 24 passed with 60 percent or more we have to find who has passed which class has the greater fractions of the students getting 60 percent or more so solution in the class a the fraction of students getting 60 percent or more marks equals to 20 upon 25 because total is 25 students in class b the fraction of students getting 60 percent or more marks equals to 24 upon 30 because total is 30 students so we get two fractions 20 upon 25 and 24 upon 30 let us find the lowest term of this fraction simplest form of this fraction so we will divide this 20 upon 25 by 5 5 4 are 5 5 are here we will divide 24 upon 30 by 6 upon 6 that is 6 4 are 6 5 are both are getting same fractions 4 upon 5, 4 upon 5. That means, this means equal fractions of students got 60% or more marks in class A and class B. Both the class got the equal, equal fractions.